What is up guys? Welcome to your 21st Intermediate Java tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to put actual Java programs called applets on the web. So I'm going to be putting mine on uh, the newboston.com just cuz it's a little site for me to test on. So the first thing, the very first thing that you want to do is if you're using clips and I assume you are instead of just coding it right in here what we need to do is we actually need to get the class file for this so go ahead and run it one time and that's gonna save it to a class file and then go ahead in your computer and in your search box go ahead and search for this class or if you know where it is you can just navigate to it but what I always do is I put search Bucky dot class and this is going to give me a bunch of different classes and I know that mine is in applet right here so you usually want to say it, name it something unique so you don't have the same problem but um, for me I uh, like the confusion so let's copy this and I'm going to go ahead and paste this to my desktop just because I like to have everything on my desktop so now I know you guys can't see it but I have a little icon called bucky.class right on my desktop and that is where my class file is so from now what we need to do is since we're putting it on the website itself we want to go ahead and make a HTML file so go ahead and open and I'm assuming if you uh, if you guys are learning about applets you obviously know how to make HTML file so I'm not going to be going over that so anyways go ahead and open notepad plus plus or notepad whatever you use to make HTML files and then go ahead and put your HTML tags in here beginning and and go ahead and put your body tags in there as well body body and then the tag that you use specifically for applet is yep you guess it applet right like that and this actually has an ending tag and nothing's gonna go in it and the only thing that you need to do is you need to add a couple attributes in the opening tag of course the opening tag so first thing you need to do is write code and set this equal to the class that you're going to be using which is pretty much a program and I'm gonna set mine equal to Bucky dot class and the only two other attributes you need is the width and the height so I'm gonna set my width equal to and this is um, how big your apple is gonna be I'm gonna set it equal to like 400 or something and I'm gonna set my height equal to uh, I don't know 100 that sounds about good so go ahead and save this and save it is I'm gonna save it as index HTML and I'm gonna save it right to my desktop as well and copy that and paste it again to get my colors good and now let me just check everything one last time and another thing you want to take note of make sure that you never put the um, when you're doing the height and width never put it more than 1024 wide and 768 tall because on your uh, computer monitor and computer screen that would be bigger than the average computer screen so you probably don't want to do that unless you're like writing a really specific applet for just a few people but anyways that's just your general tip so now what we have on my desktop is an index for my home page and a class file so what do we do from here well I already have a website set up at a let me minimize Firefox so you guys can see right there right there and wow that's the smallest I ever had Firefox in my life so I have my website set up at hostmonster.com and let me go ahead and log in uh, domain the new boston.com my password I'm not gonna tell you guys that because I don't trust you guys and let's go ahead and it'll log in and go to your FTP which I can find mine this window is very small right now alright I'm maximizing this there we go unlimited FTP and then go ahead and click uh, first of all we want to allow pop-ups so allow, allow pop-ups and then go ahead and click unlimited FTP to get to your FTP account I probably should have had this uh, my screen recorder set up differently but oh well you guys can see now go to your desktop and this is your computer right here and this is the server so we want to move the files from your desktop to the server so everything um, that you want to put on a website is going to go in public HTML. This, these are files that the public can see. So first of all, we want to drag this Java program over called Bucky.class. So just drag and drop 
Um, that's one thing I like about Host Monster. It's not command line at all. It's all visual. So now we got the Java program right in my public HTML folder. So now we need an actual website to get to the program. So that's why we created that index HTML. So drag and drop that over here. And now you can see we got index HTML and we got bucky.class and there we go right there it was messing up but it's good now so now we can see and you you usually want to put your class file which is your program in the same directory as the website that calls the applet so now let's go to the new boston.com and see if it worked and there we go our applet pops up right on the index the home page and it says wow this actually worked and I don't know if you guys can see it but there's a little square right here that's um, 100 by 400 or whatever I named it so that's the basics of how to take an applet or a Java program and now instead of having to put it on a CD and send it to all my friends I can just say hey guys just go to this website and anyone who looks at this website can see my applet so that's the beauty of that and that's how you can share Java programs with the rest of the world. So that's enough for this tutorials. I don't want you your guys' minds to blow up. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next tutorial.